everyone. How's everyone today? Welcome to Commercial Farming with the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, <laughs> uh, the corn harvest continues. Yeah. And uh, up here in the field that we're in now, this used to be one field. And... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I have divided it into six different fields uh, because, let's jump out. Uh, let's jump out and come over here and look. Uh, all six of these fields is, let's see, where's, well, I don't have, I can't get over there. But anyway, if you look over in the right hand bottom corner it is 2,851.47 acres. Yes. Yeah. 2,851.47 acres. With a harvest quantity potential of 21,232,000 266 liters. Yes. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's why I've divided it into six different fields. So if we wanted to get a more accurate idea on how many acres each field is, of course, we just divide that by six, and <clears throat> that's where we're at. So anyway, uh, to do the field that we're in, and they're all pretty well equally uh, divided. You know, I mean, they're just about all the same size. But uh, in order to get them all done in a reasonable manner and not be overwhelmed, uh, that's the reason that I divided them up. But uh, this field, uh, the lead harvester said it was going to take about 140 or one hour 45 minutes to complete. So that's not bad. Maybe we can get a couple of these fields done and, uh, you know, get on with our, our corn harvest because. <laughs> We've got a bunch of corn to harvest. I mean a bunch of corn. So, but anyway, uh, everything is going good right now. Everybody's getting turned around correctly. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it'll take us long and we'll have this field done. So we'll let these guys go. We're going to go get in our grain cart and prepare to get them emptied. And, uh, We'll get on with our getting on here. All right. Well, we've got our first lands down, harvested, and this is our, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this is our number one harvester, and he's blazing a new lands. So, <coughs> ah, yes, it won't, it won't take long. We'll have this one field done. But I do think we're going to try to get two of these fields done because we've got to rock and roll. We've got a lot of harvesting to do. Uh, we've got one extra uh, step that we have to do to replant. So, yes, lots and lots of work to do. So, I don't think we're going to mess around. We're going to we're going to go ahead and get on with our getting on and uh, it's going to be busy a lot of the same same thing to see uh, <laughs> a lot of corn harvest I can tell you that so now when we move over into the fields uh, that we're looking at over there the big fields 3,500 acres apiece uh, we're probably going to have to run four trucks on that 
And uh, I still yet don't know how that's going to work because corn adds up a whole lot faster than any of your other grains. You know, wheat, barley, uh, canola. Uh, corn adds up a whole lot faster. So <clears throat> we'll have to play that by ear and we'll figure it out when we get to it. But for right now, Let's pull our HUD up. Uh, for right now, now we're working on this field, and as you can tell, we've got six of them to do here. Uh, we just finished this one. All right. And then we've got these four to do. And then these are the big ones. They're 3,500 acres a piece. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I say, we've got a lot of corn to harvest. I have no idea how much we're going to get off of these fields. But I do know it's going to be a bunch. And at this point, I don't even know if we've got a bunch or have enough... Uh, silo space to hold it all. I, I don't even know that for sure. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to get through this together. <laughs> uh, but you know, speaking of corn, I remember whenever I was young. Now, I'm talking about probably 12, 13 years old. You know, a lot of things took place at Grandma and Grandpa's house. And that was a thing then. Uh, families had, you know, their own kids. But then, most of the time, if there was any big get-together or anything like that, uh, it was done at Grandma and Grandpa's house for a couple of reasons. Number one, they didn't want to leave Grandma and Grandpa out. And number two, it was easier for the individual, well, let's say Grandma and Grandpa's kids, which would have been like my mom, you know, and my cousin's mom and dad and whatever, it would have been easier for them to travel than it would be for Grandma and Grandpa. So it was just a standard practice that every time something was to go on, uh, everybody would meet at Grandma and Grandpa's house. And that was a good time for uh, cousins to all get together and play and just have a great time. Uh, but also, <clears throat> Grandma and Grandpa had a, a big garden, a very big garden, that they used all the time. I mean, they grew their the stuff that they wanted to eat in their garden and they put it up, canned it or froze it or whatever had to be done. Uh, and they put it up to eat for the following year. So naturally the kids would help them. You know, all the all of grandma and grandpa's kids which would be my mom and, and dad and, and my <clears throat> aunts and uncles, they would all help. Well, I remember uh, one year, uh, now Grandma and Grandpa didn't have a whole lot of room in their garden to plant sweet corn, but they always put up sweet corn. And the way they done that is they bought it from a farmer that raised sweet corn and sold it. Well, <laughs> I remember one year, and like I said, I was probably 12, 13 years old. I remember one year that uh, my mother took the back seat out of our car. Now, we had a, a fairly large-sized car 
and I'm thinking back, and it must have been uh, like a Chevrolet Impala or something like that. It was a fairly big car, but I do not remember exactly what it was today. Been too many years ago. But she took the back seat out, and we went to this farmer's uh, farm, and I do not remember how many bushels of sweet corn she bought but she filled the area in the back seat all the way to the roof in that car plus filled the trunk <laughs> with sweet corn and where did we go it was a mad dash to grandma and grandpa's house uh yeah now you know when we got there of course the work started because even the kids were involved and we all shuck corn uh, you know it's uh, and then there was a big process of putting this corn up well some of the corn uh, it was blanched cut off the cob and frozen you know in and uh, put in a freezer like that and then some of the corn uh, it was blanched and it was frozen on the cob but needless to say that was a great ordeal uh, there was a lot of corn there you know uh, <laughs> uh, several ears of corn and uh, it was a big big operation just getting all of it blanched and what I mean by blanched is, you know, you put it in boiling water uh, for, I don't know, five or six minutes. I'm, I don't remember exactly what it is. Uh, and then you take it out and you put it in ice water to stop the cooking. And uh, that's what they call blanching it. So uh, that was a big ordeal. And then packaging all of it, getting it in the freezer and oh yeah yeah but uh, that's the way things were done back then I mean people took advantage of gardening and uh, you know I've carried some of that over uh, me and my wife today uh, we have uh, grown a garden and uh, uh, we've canned several quarts of green beans uh, corn we've, we've canned corn and uh, let me tell you something when the snow flies there ain't nothing any better than to go in and get a good fresh canned uh, jar of whatever you've put up you know the previous year uh, whether it be green beans or corn or peas or whatever it is and uh, you know eat that when the snow flies that's uh that's great and it's good for you too you know what it is not a bunch of additives or anything like that so but uh anyway uh we're gaining on it this is your number one harvester right here uh we've got the other harvesters coming along behind of course they're starting to get scattered out you know get space in between them but that's all right you know, we don't have that big of a field so uh, anyway we're going to finish getting this field done and then we'll jump in the next field and get that one done all right well we've about got this field done uh, I think they've got one more lands and this field will be done so <laughs> then we're going to move up we're going to do another field but first thing we need to do is get these trucks off on their way uh, this will make their third trip and each one of them hauls 300,000 liters so yeah bunch of corn uh, <laughs> like I said I don't know how much we're going to get off this farm, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be a bundle. Let me tell you that.
and leave me a comment. Have any of you done anything like this before? Where you've just got several thousand acres and you plant it all in one crop, maybe corn? Uh, you know, I can't even tell you exactly how many acres we have uh, of corn. I don't really know exactly how many acres we have, period. Uh, but it's several. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this is truly commercial all the way. Uh, usually when a big commercial farm like this, whenever harvesting comes, they just have a big commercial crew come in and they may have 10 to, 50, 10 to 15 harvesters harvesting for them, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's got enough on or not. Maybe. Yep, I believe he does. All right. That makes their third trip. So, <laughs> yeah. That's a eight. That's a 1.8 million liters right there, just in, you know. So anyway, uh, no, it's more than that. That's their third trip, not second trip. So anyway, uh, like I said, we're on our last lands for this field, and uh, then we'll move right up to the next field, and we'll get that one done. So, I'll see you in just a little bit. All right. Well, we have started on our second field. And actually, uh, we've started on our second lands of the second field. So, <clears throat> if you look straight ahead of us there, uh, that's the field that we just got through with. And uh, this is the second field. So, everything is really running smooth. No problems with the harvesters, no problem with the trucks. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, kind of unbelievable, really. But, uh, anyway, we're getting right along. And, uh, we'll get this field done today. And then, uh, tomorrow's another day, you know. Ain't no sense in trying to do it all in one day because it can't be done. So, uh, there's no sense in even trying. So, anyway, we're going to let these guys get on with our getting on and we'll check back with them here in just a little bit. Alright, well, we are just about to get this field done also. <laughs> uh... It doesn't really take that long when you've got five harvesters running in them, so. Uh, but we are accumulating corn. <laughs> yes, we are accumulating quite a bit of corn. Which, now don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing, you know, uh, at all. But uh, we have a lot of corn, <laughs> a lot of corn to harvest. So, you know, I'm, I'm estimating or guesstimating, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, uh, that we're going to end up with somewhere around 70 million liters by the time we get all the corn harvested. 70 million. Yes. So, uh, I guess what we're going to have to find out, and we will find out, I reckon, uh, is how much storage space that we have in our silos. <laughs> yes. Because the one silo, I don't really know how much it holds. Uh, but I'm going to try to find out. That way, you know, we don't get caught 
uh, with no room, nowhere to go with anything, right in the middle of the harvest, you know. But I know we're not going to have to worry about it until we get over here on the uh, on those 3,500 acre fields, and that's when we'll have to worry about it. But anyway, uh, just a, a friendly reminder. Uh, if you've liked this content, please go down and hit that thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate it. It makes all the difference in the world. Uh, I appreciate those of you that have. Uh, and like I said, it's just a friendly reminder. I mean, if, if you didn't like the content, uh, I apologize. I apologize for that. Uh, but if you do like the content, Please, just go down there and hit that thumbs up. I'd sure appreciate it. Uh, it you know, it, it really helps YouTube. And, uh, all right, let's put it this way. It helps me on YouTube because it gets this video out to more people. Uh, you know, they'll put it on the, uh, on the, in the library more. So... Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, and of course, if people don't watch it, if they don't, if it's not put in front of them, and they don't even know it's there, uh, they don't have a chance to watch it, and if they don't watch it, then it doesn't do me any good, you know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining or anything, actually, I, I really ain't, uh, I'm just telling you how it is, how YouTube does. So, but uh, we've got one more harvester to empty out here. They're going to go over to the other side right there. And they're going to run up that row and then they'll be done. They don't have to come back. Uh, they'll end at the, uh, the end of their uh, harvest will be at the end of the field here. So, but... Anyway, uh, I think we're probably going to call this a video. We've harvested two fields. Uh, we've got quite a bit of corn accumulated. And we've sure got a lot more to go. But uh, I do think we're going to call it a day. And as always... Thank you very, very much for watching.